I think this series is probably different because um, it's using a, a very specific tool. Each of the episodes is standalone and centers around um, a different character who is confronted with something that I might call like an absurd or extraordinary circumstance. I met someone. Oh my God. Is he married? No. Do you want dessert? Hello, Merritt. It is so wonderful to finally meet you. Hi, very nice to meet you. I'm fine. How are you doing? Oh, very, very good. Oh, goodness. I finished watching all eight episodes of the anthology just a few days ago. And I must say, it was a very unique experience. It is unique. It is unique. Oh, goodness. Um, In the new series, Raw, you star in episode six, entitled The Girl Who Was Fed by a Duck. Can you tell us a little bit about your character and your very powerful episode? Um, I play a woman named Elisa, who during a time of maybe great uncertainty, enters into a romantic relationship with a duck. I mean, yeah. Very straight. (laughs) What happens? Well, I mean, I have to say, I absolutely loved your episode. I, I, I loved it so much. I, your episode was the one that I actually had to watch a few times. (laughs) Interesting. I know, I know that these conversations are are supposed to be about like us giving answers, but particularly with this project, I'm a lot more interested in what people who have seen the episodes think. Like, I'd much rather hear what you (laughs) felt about this episode oh well you know first and foremost I have to say when I knew that you were um the lead for this uh, for that episode I was extremely intrigued because I followed your career for a very long time so I I already knew that it was going to be um very interesting and having a little bit of quirkiness to it because that's one thing I love about the characters you play Mm -hmm. so I was really looking forward to the the bit of humor but what I was noticing in the um uh, the trend with the episodes was there's always a very powerful lesson at the end. So, yeah, yeah. So I was I was looking for this, but I knew that it was going to have a bit of a twist and a bit of humor in it. So I, you didn't, and you did not disappoint. <laughs> <laughs> I must say it it was actually of the eight yours is one of my two of the favorites of of all of the eight okay there there's some really extraordinary episodes I got to see some as well yeah yeah Yeah. well I mean I what I have to say is what I what I without giving away too much what I notice is that um even in your episode every episode ends with a very um empowering um kind of a epiphany or Mm -hmm. coming into coming to terms with kind Mm -hmm. of situation so I just wanted to know how is the series raw different from other feminist driven shows or shows about feminine female empowerment and the struggle to overcome adversity how would you say this series differs well i think this series is probably different because um it's using a a very specific tool each of the episodes is standalone and centers around um a different character who is confronted with something that I might call like an absurd or extraordinary circumstance, Um, something potentially like you could call it, they're all different, surreal or unreal, that they use to highlight um, maybe an internal experience that's a lot more ordinary or real, you know, than the title would have us imagine. I can understand what you mean with that. Well, I mean, I could actually, I could talk to you about this episode all day because this is the episode where I had so many questions and uh, I know we have this, we have a limit, but Merritt, thank you so much for chatting with me today. It was wonderful talking to you. I really don't know how you ladies do it. Oh, witchcraft mainly. Oh, if I am a ghost. Why am I still getting cramps? Oh!